Welcome. In this video clip, we will look at a division strategy called multiplying up. In order for students to be successful, they should have a good understanding of multiplying and basic multiplication facts. This strategy can be taught when teaching various strategies for division. In the fourth grade, students should be able to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and or the relationship between multiplication and division. The multiplying up strategy teaches students to use known multiplication facts rather than division facts to reach the dividend and ultimately find the quotient. When initially introducing the strategy, I would model on the smart board, then I would have whiteboards and dry erase markers available at the tables for students to practice. This is how I would model the strategy. Okay, boys and girls, we have been learning about division. We know that dividing is sharing equally. In fourth grade, I have to teach you different strategies for division. We also know that division is related to multiplication. I'm going to show you a way to use multiplication facts to solve long division problems. All right, we're going to do 68 divided by 3. I know that 3 times 20 is 60. So I can take that 60 away from my dividend, 68, and 8 left over. Well, I also know that 3 times 2 is 6. So I can take that away, and I have 2 left over. So I know that 68 divided by 3 is 22 with a remainder of 2. Let's do one more example of multiplying up. It's 79 divided by 5. Well, I know easily that 5 times 10 equals 50. I'm going to take that 50 away from my dividend of 79, and I have 29 left. Well, I know 5 times 5 is 25. So I'm going to take that 25 away, and I have 4 left over. So, that tells me that 79 divided by 5 equals 10 and 5 is 15, with a remainder of 4. I would probably model at least two or three more problems on the smart board, calling on students to help me finish the problems. Then I would have the students practice independently on their own whiteboards, while I monitor and conference with each table or with individual students.